Video 16 is the tracing pod. When you click the tracing pod, the first thing it goes to is tracing images. And this is in Ambient Design ArtRage Studio Pro Resources Tracing Images. And you can go anywhere on your hard drive you want and find your own tracing picture. I'm going to choose New Zealand Mountain 1 and bring it in. And you'll see that it's here in the tracing. And you'll see down here in the color wheel it says using trace color click for normal color. So if I click this I would get the normal color. Now if I click on this it comes up. Now I can turn it off or make it invisible with this meaning hide it and bring it back on. I can change the opacity to nothing all the way up to like 52 or all the way up to 100. If I go into here, the menu, of course we can load a, another image if we want. We can clear this tracing image, meaning I can make it go away so that if I want to go back and load it again, I can. Now I'm going to click on this again and it says show tracing image. That's the same as the eye so it's toggled on right now. If I do this it goes off and you can see that there's nothing in the eye. So I'll bring it back on and I can automatically choose colors from this tracing image. If I click this then it goes back to using the trace color and this is the part that you'll want to look at is the tracing image scale. Now you can manually scale it and this means it'll go into the transform and you can bring it whatever size you want. Now if I go into tracing image scale and stretch to fit, it stretches to the entire length of my canvas. If I go into Tile to Fit, I can bring this down and you can see I have quite a few on here. And so you could bring it up, bring it down. It's kind of good looking abstract. And we can bring it back up. Now if I go into here and I can fit inside, meaning that it'll fit inside the canvas area, or I can fit to fill. And another th thing that you can do is convert tracing image to paint. Now as you can see it looks pretty good right here, but the reason that it doesn't look as sharp as what's on the layer, that's because it's still showing with the tracing image. So if you turn this off, this is what you get, the beautiful picture. That's all there is to tracing other than if you have it as a tracing image. Let's clear this layer and go back to unhiding this. Then if you wanted to, you could then simply pick a tool and trace the outline and then paint as you normally would. But you can also convert this to paint, turn off this, go with your palette knife and just have fun making something entirely different. Just using this as a backdrop. As you can see the photo is just like having paint on your canvas. So in the next video we're going to go into the reference pod.